Hello, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews, guys. And today is the second video, review video, of the Chewy VX3 by DH Gate. Alright, guys, this is a the second review video of this phablet that I uh, received from, you know, the company DH Gate. And it's been uh, about a, a couple weeks since I've posted the first review video. Now, there's a couple things that I missed in the first review video that I wanted to get in this video. First thing that I want to get is a, you know, benchmark score for you guys so you can see that, you know, this benchmark's pretty high. Just got to look for Quadrant Standard. There it is. And let's go ahead and run the full be benchmark and we'll flip it over here. See, it goes pretty quick. The you know the CPU test, the memory test, everything, and there we go. I'm just gonna lay it on its side like that. It's gonna be a little crooked, guys. Sorry. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with this uh, product that I'm reviewing, go ahead and uh, go back to my channel and look for the first review video and maybe the unboxing. Um, but basically, I'm just gonna run some benchmarks. I'm gonna I'm going to show you guys you know some gaming on this phone and the and the camera and the picture quality and uh, what I think about this device overall so okay so do you want to see the benchmark score on this oh here we go I can just do it like that and excuse the lighting in here it's a little bright but this device according to this scored a 13,165 so you know, I'm not too sure where that marks up with all the new higher-end devices out there. Um, devices like the Nexus 6. You know, but take take it with a grain of salt that this product is from China. The the person that sent it to me that wanted me to review this for them. You know, they, it's a Chinese company. And, you know, I'm just throwing the products out there for you guys. There are cheaper alternatives uh, rather than buying, you know... The newer devices, you know, with certain carriers, but you know, this is more for, you know, home use, tablet use, and office use. In my opinion, you're not going to actually use this as a phone unless you're traveling constantly around the world, because um, it's got a dual SIM card slot. So of course, it's gonna, you're gonna do that. So um, from there, let's get. I'm gonna show you guys gaming. That was your Quadrant Standard score. As I said, this takes, you know, it took my T-Mobile SIM card, but it was only running, it would only run on the 2G network, so you guys have to take that into consideration if you're going to be interested in, in purchasing this device by DHgate that, that it only runs 2G, but the data network does work, so if you're only going to use it for email and maybe sending photos, you know, this is a great device for you, so um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into gaming here and I downloaded a few games um, for this device. First game being Fruit Ninja. You know, Fruit Ninja is pretty and barely simple. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do arcade mode. Here you go, guys. This is Mike from BTR playing Fruit Ninja for you guys. So, oh snap. Got those getting them combos, guys. You can tell I practice this game. Oh. Ah. Gotta avoid those bombs at all costs. Yeah. Oh, I'm missing all the fruit, guys. No. Okay, so you guys get the picture. Um, the fruit ninja. I'll wait till the time runs out, I guess. I'm not experiencing any lag whatsoever with this game. But I don't have a, you know, many many major apps running in the background: Facebook, Snapchat, games of that sort. Ooh, there you go. That's kind of the first little bit of lag that I experience in this one. Frenzy. Oh, I'm using two hands. You can see that it takes multi-touch fingers and whatnot. 12 seconds left, I'm just gonna hit all the bombs, lose time, 
And the next game that I'm going to get. Oh, uh, yeah. So. <clears throat> Alright, so enough of uh, Fruit Ninja. From there, we're going to go to the next game that I downloaded, which is Real Racing 3. And let's go ahead and test this game out. Hopefully, I don't have to download it anymore. I just played it a little while ago. Let me move the little stand here because I'm going to have to actually steer. So, this is going to be kind of interesting, guys. I'm only going to get maybe a, a little bit of footage for this one. Alright guys, so this is Real Racing 3. The reason why I chose this game is because it's a little more, um, you know, graphically interfaced, you know, other opposed to games like Fruit Ninja. So, no snap. Uh, people trying to kill me here. Uh, cutting these fools off. Let's do it. So, you know, of course, I'm going to give it only about a minute here. I'm not even going to probably finish the race. But as you can see here, the game seems to be running really smooth. You know, this tablet has 3,000... Actually, I think the battery's bigger. Uh, 3,000 milliamp batteries, so it's going to last you a while. You know, if you're taking the kids on the road, you know, they'll, have, they'll get a decent amount of juice out of this tablet. But you can see there, I'm going to run into this car over here. Alright, I got third place. So, as you can see there, <clears throat> I got race bonuses and I'm awesome. But let's just continue. And I didn't completely damage my car, so let's go, let's go home here. And let's connect this back up. Whoa, hold on, let me fix that. I did not want to connect to the dialer so okay hold on I'm not sure what's going on this thing's having its way with me right now but okay so as you can see here um, that was the gaming right there and I'm gonna jump right ahead to um, to the browser I downloaded Google Chrome but this comes with a, a nasty default browser that they make it look like Internet Explorer actually when you're um, using it but let's take a look. I could have swore I downloaded Chrome. Maybe not. Hold on. Thought I did. Maybe not. Well, okay. So we're just going to use the stock internet browser because I forgot to download Chrome. So my apologies on that. But you're going to go ahead and click that. You can see how quickly it pops up. Keep in mind this tablet is running Android 4.4. And it's going to take you to their website, which is Chewy.com. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that. Chewy.com. But I'm going to just go to um, phonearena.com, which is .com. Did I spell that right? No, I did not. Okay, hold on. There you go, phonearena.com. So, so phonearena.com is you know a, peop, a, a website that reviews a lot of tech items, phones, tablets, you know. A lot of the new stuff that's coming out, and they do it all. So, so <clears throat> I'm just going to your website because I'm going to their website. Let me see if I can zoom in here really quick, a little slower. There you go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to show you guys how fluid this is using the thumb, as you can see there. You know, scrolling up and down. I'm I'm on Wi-Fi, of course. So as you can see there, this is you know this page has a lot of photos. Java, HTML, whatever you want to call it. And let me double tap that. It's going to zoom in hardcore. So, as you can see here, pinch to zoom is pretty sensitive, actually. Like, I double tap that and see what happens. I mean, you don't really have to um, magnify because you, you should be able to see everything that's on the screen. But let's let's flip it over to a portrait here and let me. Or, yeah, portrait, that's what I want to call it. But, um,. And we'll hold it in my hand, and we'll we'll do pinch to zoom like that. So as you can see there, not too bad. <clears throat> you know, it's not lagging at all there. So from there, I'm going to go to, and let's go to Facebook really quick, actually. But let me make sure that I'm on my page. And if you guys haven't followed me, guys, it's 
www.facebook.com forward slash BT reviews and I'm going to give you guys the link in the description below as well for that. Let's go take a look at that really quick. Um, anything that I post, that any videos that I post are going to go here to my you know, YouTube, uh, Facebook like page at Budget Tech Reviews. So search for it, like it, please. Um, and let's let's transition. As you can see there, the transitions work pretty good. Can't complain there. So you know, I'm just showing you guys little by little like how how this tablet works. Let me lower that. And I actually want to you know show you guys the keyboard. I cur I'm currently running Google's Android keyboard, but it comes with uh, different keyboards. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna type up here. Let's see. Um, hey, or let's look up. You know, let's look up Techno Buffalo. So, so keyboard. We'll look up Techno Buffalo and go to their page, Techno Buffalo. So you can see there it goes pretty quick. Um, the keyboard does have haptic feedback. And if you guys don't know what haptic feedback is, the the keys vibrate um, on contact. So when you press the keys, it's going to vibrate. So that's going to be that. Um, so that's going to be it for <clears throat> the main portion of the phone, guys. And let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the camera app really quick. Right now, this is um, their main camera app which I'm not a too big big fan of but as you can see there and let's see if I can turn that around there um you just click it and it goes like that and if you want to view the photo you just swipe your finger to the right and boom so there are some photos and I'm going to probably show you that in a little slideshow right now but if you want to take video you're going to click the video thing down here and it just starts taking video automatically from to my knowledge let's see there you guys you can see there it's recording so it, once you click the video button, it starts recording. I'm gonna just move that around so you can see. And then when you want to stop recording, you just press that again, and it'll there you go. It'll it'll process the video. All right, so here's a few here's a few uh, clips and photos that I took with this camera. Okay, guys, that's going to about do it for the Chewy VX3 phablet, tablet, phone, or tablet, whatever you want to call it. Um, I give this, you know, tablet slash phone, you know, if I have to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, <clears throat> I'm going to give it a 6, to be honest. You know, for I'm not a fan of oversized uh, phones. This You can use this as a phone, like I said, but... As a tablet, though, if I were to give it on a scale of 1 to 10 as a tablet, you know, I'd give it probably an 8 because, you know, it's a decent size, you know, for, you know, you can it's very portable. You can put it in any, you know, purse, you know, book bag, you know, so if you're going to use this for reading, you know, if you want to play games on it like Minecraft or like the games that you saw me playing on it, Fruit Ninja, uh, of course, Snapchat. Chat, Snapchat works, you can see that I have it down there. And just very multiple things that you can use it for. Email, you know, if you just want to use it for apps like Hangouts, you know, Skyping, voice calling, all that. You know, this you know, this tablet, phablet is very good. So, 
you know, I want to thank you guys for watching and, you know, taking the time to watch the entire video. I know I make these things long sometimes. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and just, you know, take a look at the link in the description of the video to this product if you're interested. You know, feel free to, you know, give the seller a buy on this. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.